It's an honour to be speaking with you. Thank you so much for coming. How are you? I'm great. I'm, I'm great. I'm excited. Um, I'm as well very proud. Proud of her new documentary and proud of herself for battling through the most testing years of her life. All caught on film, all the pain, all the heartache, all caused by a rare neurological disorder known as stiff person syndrome that literally affects one in a million. I miss it so much. The people. I miss them. It's so honest and raw. It's also deeply personal. Why did you decide? to let the cameras come in? I have been struggling, obviously, for many, many, many years. Something that started in my throat. Um, no pain, just spasming. I would say spasm. So for people to understand what were you feeling, spasms. I was a bit concerned, so I do my ritual. Some steam, eucalyptus, vocal exercise, avoiding dairies. I did not want to panic and say, oh my god, I'm going to lose my voice. When you're on tour and You've been doing this since you're 12 years old. But at one point, nothing changes. So I started to be scared, obviously. I started to be more tense and scared to be on stage. That doesn't help the spasm. I never thought about my voice. My vocal cords used to lead my passion. In 2019, Celine stopped performing. Then the pandemic happened and the world stopped too. She was prescribed medicines that simply weren't working and Celine's condition got worse. Muscle stiffness throughout her body, oh. triggering unbearable pain. It was a terrible secret for so long until she went public with the diagnosis in December 2022. I've been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder and I wasn't ready to say anything before. but I'm ready now. My son just lost their dad. I don't have my mom, I don't have my dad, I lost a brother, I don't have my husband. My kids are scared because they lost their dad. They're wondering if, they, if I'm gonna die. We're canceling all the shows. Yeah. The fans don't know what's happening. I'm an open book since I'm 12 years old. I said everything and now I disappear. I can't live with that. I was in my bunker, which is with my kids, and I didn't want to talk about, I wanted to be on stage, but I could not. Mm. And I said, we need to let people know what's, what's going on. And when they had it diagnosed with the right people, I decided to do a documentary with the right people. Ready? Is the sound man okay? Your voice that you describe as your instrument. Yes. How is it? Um, we had to change a lot of things. When I was 12 years old and I was doing my vocal exercises, or, you know, I, I did this all my life. It, I didn't even have to think about it. So for my voice, is that instead of vocal exercising and instead of just stretching for my own pleasure, it's an athletic therapist that treats my body and I have someone as a therapy for my voice. So it's not but it's ba, 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 ba. it's different. It's a different approach. Celine says she's fighting back and will never give up. If she can't walk on stage, she will crawl. She is determined to overcome the condition for which there is no known cure. Four years I stayed in my house. I can't stay in my house. I don't want my kids. I want them to know that it's mom's fine. So we had to have panic buttons. They know what to do. We rehearse. They're, they're not. I mean, how many people in the world have conditions? They have to let their kids know. Yeah. They might have to call 911. Absolutely. So my kids, I will not lie to my fans, my kids, and myself. And I want my fans to know that I'm taking good care of me. I'm well surrounded. My voice is coming back. My passion has never left. My body's getting stronger. I'm gonna come back on stage. I am Celine Dion. And I'm gonna come back and I can't wait because I miss you so 